everybody it's time for another episode of road to the show and in this episode we're headed down to texas to take on the rangers at globe life park my last episode was pretty bad because i'm stuck at second base and i've been making lots of throwing errors they will not move me back to the outfield they even took away the option to even request a position change so it looks like i'm going to be a second baseman for the foreseeable future probably the only six foot five 250 pound second baseman in the whole league that's for sure and we start off here with the home run so that's always nice out in the left field seats I've been to uh, I think I mentioned this before I've been to Globe Life Park twice I went for a game down there in 2014 then I saw Minute Maid Park then I went back again uh, because I flew out of um, Dallas so it's kind of right near there so when I got to Dallas I went to a game there's another home run by the way then I drove down to Houston for a couple, and then when I left, I went back to Dallas. And as always, I flew Spirit Air because it's so cheap. I think it was like 80 bucks to fly down there. But anyway, there's a pop-up. Can't hit a home run every time. I guess today there was some talk about Ball Hawk Fest on Twitter. Apparently, it looks like Ball Hawk Fest, you got a choice. They're planning a Ball Hawk Fest in... Toronto, New York, and I think I saw Chicago and maybe San Diego. Now, Ball Hawk Fest, I've never been to one um, because when I came to Pittsburgh, I actually ended up, me and my friend Nick, we went down to Atlanta to see Turner Field for the first time. And I guess Ball Hawk Fest is like a gathering of people that collect baseballs and y'all kind of get together and have lunch and then the, the the cool part the, the part that interests me the most is the home run derby because i've been doing these hitting videos recently i think i've done like three or four of them where i just go and mash some home runs over a fence or over a river or whatever and that would be kind of cool to make a video of an actual home run derby a competitive home run derby against other people that are really good at baseball or at least catching baseballs so that's something i'm looking forward to i think i would be in for the uh, Ball Hawk Fest in Toronto because they're opening all the gates for the Friday game in Toronto. It's against the Pirates like August 11th. They're opening all the gates at 4.30 so you get to see a full BP which is, I guess is rare in Toronto. And also the Pirates are in town. They're my team and I, I know some of the coaches very well because I mean Herbie's been there ever since what 2004 so ever since my ball hockey career started Herbie's been like the staple he's been the mainstay guy that I see every day out there and he often gives me and, and my friend Nick a baseball pretty much every day that he's out there he's just the greatest guy uh, if you're polite to him and ask him for a baseball he will hook you up well we won game one now we're going on to game two and sorry if you hear something in the background my son's playing with like a toy truck upstairs so he's like bashing on the floor and racing it all over the place can you hear that in the background right now because it's like kind of distracting to me anyway I just hit a home run and I'm really tired today as soon as I got home from work piled everyone in the car and I drove the whole way to Maryland it was about a little over two hour drive and the reason we drove there is because we went to go and buy a puppy now Right now, our house is already pretty full. We have a three bedroom house, and come July, we're gonna have four kids, me and my wife. And we just kind of felt like it was time to get a dog. So we drove the whole way to Maryland because we found these puppies, and they're German Shepherds, purebred German Shepherds. I grew up with a German Shepherd. Here, I get to make a play. By the way, I figured this out. I figured it out, I can make the throw finally. The difference was, instead of just tapping the R2 button, like I would just tap it quickly and release it, you gotta hold it down. So I didn't know that before. I finally figured that out by accident in this series. So I'm actually making throws. You can kind of rest easy when the ball's hit my way now. But anyway, I had a German Shepherd my entire life from the age of zero up until the age of 22 um, when I was in college. And grand total of three German Shepherds. The first one I had, um, I was too young to remember this, but he was hit by a car and and died that way. His name was Heinz, but I don't really remember him because I was maybe like one or two years old. That one's up on the hill, and no fans are running out there. Come on, have some fun. Get out there. Second dog lived, I think, 11 years. Called him Blitz. 
And the third dog was named Felson, and he lived for about, I don't know, 12, 12 years, maybe 12, 13 years. So I guess that's about the lifespan for a German Shepherd. But the last one, Felson, he was insanely protective, like the best guard dog you could ever have. Like no one would even want to even walk past our house because Felson would just go crazy. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what kind of a name is Felson and Blitz? Well, if you didn't know, my family is German for the most part. Um, my dad's side is 100% German. My dad was born in Germany. They came over after World War II because it's a kind of a long story. They're basically left with nothing. Um, so they came here looking for a new start. Um, they, I want to say they came over in like 1952. My dad was born in 1950. And anyhow, the family tradition is if you have a dog, you have to name it after something strong in nature in German. And we get the win here, by the way, seven to six. So game number two is in the bag. So anyway, Blitz, I believe, means lightning. I mean, they have that term in football, right? Blitz. And Felsen means rock, if I'm not mis mistaken. So now it's up to me. I have to carry on the family tradition. I've got to come up with a name here. I mean, a really cool name that I was thinking of recently is Milb. M-L-B. Just call the dog Milb. But I don't know if that really fits for like a ferocious German Shepherd. Hey Milb, come here Milb. But that's just something that's on in the back of my mind. But then I'd be breaking from the family tradition of naming the dog after something strong in nature. So anyway, this is turning into a long story. This one might be a home run by the way. Out there into the Blue Jays bullpen. Yep, that's off the back wall. Um, we didn't get the dog today. We just had to go and pick one out. The litter was, there was eight dogs. Um, there was three males left and two females. We picked a male who was sable in color, which is mostly black, but has like some kind of like lighter color in its coat. Um, it's only three weeks old. We can't take it until it's eight weeks. So right around opening day, look at this throw, by the way, folks. I figured it out. Like I said, just hold down the R2 button for the release. I'm gonna be able to get this new dog um, right around, right after opening day. So maybe I'll have a video for that. I did take um, a couple clips. Well, actually, my wife took it. I gave her my phone because my son just—he's not really into dogs yet. So I had to hold him the whole time. Here's another home run. This game is about to be another blowout. I hope it is. I've got a chance for a grand slam right here. Here we go. We can put the game. This would this would really make it a blowout. By the way, they gave me 2,000 training points last game. I wonder why they gave me so many. And there we go. Upper deck. Grand slam. What is that? 9 to 5 now? I'm not even really paying attention to the scoreboard anymore. I can't wait for MLB The Show 2017 to come out. That comes out at the end of this month. I think March 28th. So it's going to be a busy month. I've got spring training coming up in 9 days. I've got... Probably not going to make it to Montreal to see the Pirates, to tell you the truth. I just never I never even got around to renew, renewing my passport yet so that's unlikely to happen but I've got spring training uh, in the middle of the month and then I've got MLB the show to look forward to then opening days like right after that I still don't know when my first official actual MLB game will be of the season um, I don't know if it's gonna be opening day at PNC Park or if I'm going to get to some place um, that week before the Pirates open up on April 7th. It's a Friday. And the days before that, look at that throw. The days before that, I have to work. So I can't like just miss like three, four days of work just to go out on the road and go to a bunch of baseball games. I mean, I'd like to, but I think I only have maybe like three personal days left. I'm going to use one for spring training when I fly back on, on a Monday. I'm going to use one for... Uh, opening day and then I have one more which I'll probably divide up into two like half days and just maybe go see the Indians all right so this game is 10 to 6 now time to make a play this looks like it's gonna be a double play here I'm actually doing pretty well at fielding here recently it's got to cover the bag and throw an error has occurred come on that's so bad like this game's been out for just about a year and there's still bugs in it. What the heck happened? 
Yeah, you better believe I'm gonna report the problem. Send a screenshot and a video. You know what I'm worried about? I had such a good series with all those home runs. I had like 2,000 some training points there. I'm hoping that it didn't take all those away. I can't believe it has to reboot. This is bad. Like, I don't even feel like, I don't feel like replaying this series. I'm gonna go and check and see if it saved those first two games or not. I have, yep, it didn't. So I have to redo these. I won those first two games and I would have won the third game too. I would have swept them. I, I don't feel like replaying. I guess I'll just kind of sim through it. Oh, wait a minute. I had a, oh, I had like a, a huge hitting streak that's probably gone now. I was trying to hit 800. That's probably ruined. That was a mistake. Oh, well, I'm not replaying that series. So here's some, some uh, video from today. Uh, we went and saw the dogs. They're down in the owner's basement there. There's a litter of eight of them. They kind of keep them down there. And this is the dog we're picking. So any suggestions on names? Any things that, that's strong in nature? Um, there's Olivia. All the, all the puppies just loved her. They were all over her, and they all actually fell asleep on her. We were there for an hour. There's the dog we're getting. Still to be named. So I'm thinking about it. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all tomorrow.